how, how did our particular universe, the one that started 13.8 billion years ago, how did that start? Ever since thoughts begin to exist in the minds of humans, our species have been asking themselves the same question we are asking today. How did all of this come to be? One model is the inflationary multiverse, the, this eternally inflating multiverse in which Big Bangs are happening all the time. They've been happening all the way, you know, infinitely far back into the past and will continue. One of the most fascinating developments of modern science seeks to explain how our universe began 13.8 billion years ago. The leading theory about the origins of our universe hinges on an explosion the size of which has yet to be seen again. Scientists call this theory the Big Bang. This theory says that the Big Bang happened in an instant, and everything that exists in our universe came into being in that singular moment. So Stephen, everyone wants to know what was around before the Big Bang. Nothing was around before the Big Big Bang. Please tell me how something can create itself out of nothing. The rabbit out of the hat, without a hat, without the rabbit, and without the magician. And he paused for a moment and he looked at me and he said, Well, it just does. Explosions occur constantly throughout our universe due to the volatile nature that exists within it. But none have been close to the size of the Big Bang. But studying other explosions, especially some of the bigger ones, may help astronomers shed more light on our universe. Astronomers are always on the lookout for the next significant explosions in order for them to gain a better understanding about the nature of our universe and how it functions. Astronomers often look out into space in order to find new features of the universe that have yet to be discovered and documented using a variety of tools at their disposal. During one of these searches, astronomers are looking towards the Ophiuchus Cluster. This cluster is a giant cluster of galaxies around 390 million light years away from Earth. A galaxy cluster is one of the largest structures that we have found in our universe. They can be made up of tens of thousands of galaxies, clouds of hot gas, and are filled with the dark matter between the galaxies, helping to provide the huge amount of gravity required to hold these structures together. Astronomers use the X-ray telescopes like the NASA's Chandra and X-ray Observatory, among others around the world, to collect data from the radiation emitted from the Ophiuchus cluster in order to learn more about it. While looking through the data collected, the astronomers notice something very large and unusual near its center. In the middle of this gigantic galaxy cluster, there was a massive hole in the hot gas that hangs around the cluster filled with radio waves. Astronomers began to compare this hole to craters left after a large volcanic eruption, like the one that rocked Mount St. Helens in 1980. Upon further investigation, astronomers reached the conclusion that this crater was in fact caused by an explosion. Not only an explosion, the largest explosion that scientists have ever found inside of our universe. When astronomers say that this explosion was huge, they mean it. It was absolutely mind-blowingly big. Much like the explosion of a volcano leaves a massive crater behind, this explosion ripped a cavity into the surrounding cloud of hot gas. The void it created measures over 750,000 light years across. That makes this cavity so large that 15 Milky Way galaxies can fit side by side in a line across the diameter. Astronomers had a hard time imagining how much energy would need to be released to create a hole this big. Nothing that they have found before measured anywhere close to the size and strength of the explosion that formed this crater. They eventually found that the amount of energy released in the explosion was nearly five times larger than the previous record holder for largest explosion. It turns out that they calculated the amount of energy and it would require five times ten to the 54th power joules of energy to blow this big of a crater into the gas cloud. Explosions within galactic clusters is nothing new for astronomers. From what they have found, many galaxies have massive black holes in their centers, and wherever black holes are found, there is sure to be something of interest to astronomers. There are a few objects that exist in our universe that can cause explosions inside of galactic clusters. These objects include massive stars going supernova at the end of their lives. Another one of the most common sources of explosions within galaxy clusters are black holes. Black holes are known to devour anything that gets too close to them. But, did you know that they can also spew out huge amounts of matter and energy if the conditions are right for them? And, when black holes release their energy, they will spew huge amounts of matter and energy out into space. But the more common explosions that astronomers find in the galaxy clusters are hundreds of thousands of times weaker than this explosion was. So, what caused an explosion this big? 
One leading theory as to what caused this explosion targets a supermassive black hole at the center of one of the Ophiuchus Cluster's many galaxies. A lot of larger galaxies have black holes that are so large that they become classified as supermassive black holes. These supermassive black holes can get as big as 21 billion times the mass of our Sun. Black holes this large would fill up nearly half of our entire solar system by itself. If a black hole of a somewhat similar size lived at the heart of one of the Ophiuchus Cluster's galaxies and the conditions were just right, it could have created an explosion large enough to create the damage that astronomers can see. Black holes in the center of galaxies are often surrounded by giant clouds of hot gas and plasma that are slowly being pulled towards it. But the gas and matter being pulled into the black hole can get redirected and it will begin flowing together until a massive jet spews all of the matter out into space in a powerful, high-energy stream. A massive explosion occurs when these high-energy jets strike the clouds of hot gas and plasma. The collision between the jet and the black hole and the gas cloud could cause an absolutely gigantic explosion to happen. The explosions are so large due to the sheer amount of energy that builds up in the black hole and the gas clouds that swirl around them. When the conditions for them to release all the built-up energy are right, nothing can stop a black hole from spewing massive jets of energy out into the cosmos. When astronomers first detected this explosion, it was already over. But in the time scale of the universe, it may have happened in the not-too-distant past. Astronomers do not seem too concerned about the dangers that these explosions pose to us on Earth. Explosions this big do not happen often. In fact, some astronomers have hypothesized that an explosion that can be considered large on a cosmic scale only occurs about once every 100 million years in a galaxy like the Milky Way. Not to mention that nearly every galaxy is far enough away from us that an explosion there will most likely not cause damage to us on Earth. The Ophiuchus Cluster itself is far enough away that the destructive force from this explosion would not have come close to affecting us if it occurred today. While astronomers do not know why this explosion was so big, they believe that it occurred at a very slow pace and could have taken a period of hundreds of millions of years to happen. While this is the biggest explosion since the Big Bang that astronomers have found, humans have yet to explore the vast majority of the observable universe. Who knows what is left out there for scientists to find? Every time something new is discovered, our understanding of the universe gets a bit better and a little more complete. Astronomers may find another explosion that is magnitudes bigger than this one, or they may find that this is the largest explosion that has occurred since the Big Bang. They can only keep searching through the cosmos hoping to find the next big discovery that helps science answer another one of the many questions that are currently unanswered. Do you have a favorite mystery that science has yet to answer? If you watched all the way to the end, we want to say thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button so you won't miss any of our future videos.